So you're starting your own little content creation journey and you're starting to think that maybe you want to get into some unboxing videos or maybe some product review videos or maybe you want to start working with some companies and stuff like that and you're just starting out and you're wondering maybe somebody who is a little bit I would say smaller on the platform wondering their takes and their experience with working with companies or their own thoughts on the journey of doing product reviews if, especially if you're coming from the point of view of you know maybe you used to do some gaming content maybe some live streaming or something like that and you want to diversify your content and actually be a variety content creator what are some things that you need to know and some maybe some tips and maybe some information that other content creators out there are not providing for you well today i do want to go ahead and go over some of this stuff or whatever that has been happening with me recently here on the channel i do try to do some content creation education tips and uh i would say strategy videos and everything like that so if you're new to the channel and that sounds interesting to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as maybe you're just interested on seeing how somebody else does product reviews and how they structure them and everything then you can go ahead and subscribe for that and you can watch the product review playlist at the end of the video to see what products i have covered and companies i have worked with and with all that being said i do want to say that some of my videos are you know kind of all over the place i do suffer from bipolar type 2 as well as ptsd and some other i would say mental issues so some videos might be different than others and everything and that's just like the ebb and flow obviously of me and my bipolar and all that stuff or wherever so again they might be all over the place they might not be as well structured or you know what you're looking for as far as how people do things but i do do i would say content a little bit different than most people out here on the platform most people would sit there and write scripts and that's one thing that i will go ahead and tell you that it's up to you if you want to write a script for your video especially when you're doing product reviews you mostly want to focus on what people are going to be asking for or what people are going to be looking for when it comes to that product now what i mean by that is not the generic marketing speak that the company puts out in the advertised video that somebody can watch i would say in the commercial for the video for the product or maybe they the company has posted a video wherever advertising or a product showcase or something like that or a launch release video or something the, the people can find those informations or wherever about the product wherever watching that stuff and there's going to be obviously plenty of content creators already who are going to cover that because that's the easy thing to do i would say be a little bit more unique in your decision as far as okay they're saying that this product you know works at this distance because it's a wireless lavalier system maybe you did test that distance and it was like hey you know instead of this distance it's actually a little bit shorter as far as the range goes most distance tests on wireless systems or wherever are completely useless because realistically nobody's going to go to the like i would say extreme as far as using it as at max distance that's why i don't include them in my test and that's why i don't cover them in my videos and that's an example of don't put useless information or wherever in the video you know what i'm saying because again other content creators are going to go ahead and cover that and the smart people who are watching videos on products they're going to see that 24 different times or more wherever depending on the product so try to give somebody actual useful information from a real real world perspective of using the using the product even if you didn't purchase the product yourself and a company did reach out and send it to you you're still going to want to approach the product from hey if i purchase my own money how does this work affect my workflow you know what i'm saying even if they're not even if it's not i would say content creator eccentric or something like that maybe it's just for the everyday person who's using it in an office setup or something like that or maybe you know other content creators are possibly going to use it maybe streamers are going to use it or something like that try to approach it from their perspectives or wherever of okay this you know uh microphone or wherever nobody really cares about the frequency ranges and all that stuff or wherever especially if it's a budget item it's going to be like okay how does it sound like for streamers how does it sound like when you add eqs and stuff like that there are channels out there who are going to you know use all the instruments to test the frequency response ranges and all this stuff or wherever and compare it to other microphones out there and if you have other microphones obviously try to compare them but what i've noticed at least for my channel or wherever most people looking at the youtube algorithm and the metrics and all the stuff that's uh, able to be viewed or wherever within the youtube studio and the um, analytics portion and stuff most people don't care about when i review a microphone at least for my channel and compare it to the other ones they just want to know about the actual product and i've tested this by using um 
uh, unlisted video that has all microphone comparisons or wherever of that microphone in that video compared to everyone that I've either reviewed or owned personally. And the amount of views on that video, wherever that has that separate link are doing better than the ones that have all the microphones jam packed in the video. Um, most people, you know, who are interested in it, they have clicked the links. I've seen the views, but the disparity between, like I said, having it all crammed in one video versus using an unlisted video, meaning only people who click on the link can watch the video that helps keep your video lower as far as watch time and runtime of the video, wherever it keeps the runtime lower, but it keeps the watch time up because people are getting what they want. They want to know about the actual product itself. They don't really care about comparing it to other products or whatever, especially on the budget end, because they're looking for something like that. Now you can still sneak in your recommendations, what you like it in comparison to other stuff or wherever. And like I said, you can always refer them to that link so they can listen to it themselves or watch it themselves and see why you know you might say hey the ample tank tank 3 from fine fine is a good microphone but i prefer the sound of the k688 i've done a review on my channel you can find it linked in the description or if you want to hear the sound comparison you can also watch that unlisted video link in the description as well and that way you can just go ahead and continue with your review or wherever or your closing thoughts and if people want to know hmm he says this, okay, I'll watch that review, or he says this, okay, I'll watch that audio comparison, and they can make an informed decision themselves. And like I said, you're not sitting there for another 10 minutes or wherever, or five minutes trying to do a sound comparison and explain why and all this stuff or wherever. They can hear it themselves on their own accord if they want to further you know interaction and on top of that that allows you to go ahead and advertise a previous review that you have done on whatever other product that you're trying to say a comparison to you know what i'm saying unless the whole point of the actual video is hey this microphone versus this microphone this product versus this product then of course you want to keep them compared but if you're just doing a general review and the company has not asked you to do a a, a comparison video or wherever some companies will ask you to do a dedicated review and then if you would like to in the future or they might even ask to do a separate review or wherever with comparing them but don't try to put them in the same video because they already understand this and usually those are the companies that are more i would say well established and uh, are uh, i would say a bigger not necessarily a bigger brand but they're more a reputable brand meaning they kind of are a good company you know what i'm saying at the end of the day but again that's just some thoughts that you should you know be aware of when you're approaching doing a product review or wherever on your channel is that some people like i said they just want to know about the product you know what i'm saying they don't want to know all this other stuff or whatever the background story and history of the company all that stuff like that some people don't the only times i actually kind of incorporate that is if you know my experience with the company my experience purchasing the product or the company trying to work with me and send me out a product all that stuff if it's really bad like noticeably bad and i want people to be aware of that this company is not a company that you should be buying a product from um or a black company as some people would say or wherever as far as uh not a a healthy company that doesn't really respect the consumer or the people that they're working with or maybe even the employees themselves then you might want to you know let them know again not trying to spread misinformation but you can still talk about your experience because that's going to let your personality that's going to let you connect a little bit more with your view uh your viewers because reviewing stuff on on a platform or wherever especially youtube can be a little bit taxing for the viewer because they're like i can't really trust anybody you know what i'm saying the smarter i would say viewers out there are going to realize like hey this person's lying about this this person's lying about that i can tell it's a facade or whatever you're just saying things just because you got a per made uh paid a promotion or wherever or you got the product for free and it's obviously like a super expensive product or wherever or you're just playing nice with the company in hopes that you continue to work with the company and you get free products and everything like that you're not really talking about or just being real you know what i'm saying 100 percent upfront or you know you're talking in the way that you know is like kind of passive aggressive you might be like oh this you know this thing was a little bit bad but you know other than that it's a glowing review and sometimes that's just the truth of the product you know it might have some shortcomings but it still might be a good product for you know what it is but if every single review from the person that you're watching or the person that or your own content that you're making and it tends to be you know more i would say just 
glowing review after glowing review after glowing review and saying all the time that you recommend it that might be the case but you also have to take in consideration what your viewer base what your fan base or what people are watching your videos how are they going to perceive your content are they going to believe you when you say certain things or wherever or are they going to believe because of your track record or wherever that hey maybe he only they only do products or wherever that are, are really good or they find useful because i know there are content creators out there and product reviewers out there that might accept the video but they will say like they don't review every single product that comes in only if they find it useful or you know um, worthy of doing a product review or something like that but you also have to be careful with saying that because some people say that in their videos but they're constantly putting out a video like every day and it's like how can you say that you don't make product reviews on all your videos or for all the products that you receive or wherever you don't make videos for them but you're pumping out a video like almost every single day and that's only if like a company is constantly sending you out products but chances are if you're a smaller content creator you're not getting that many you know requests to do products you know what i'm saying i can understand if you're somewhat blowing up and your reviews are doing really good and maybe it's the same company like a parent company who has a lot of sister companies or smaller companies or wherever and you're working with the overall brand and then they have different names or wherever that they control so they're sending you out products from all those different companies that might be the case and again it's not everybody out there but there are some content creators out there that will go ahead and lie to their audience saying that the company doesn't see the video before it goes live or that um, they don't have any input on the on the product or something like that or the content creator like i said is hoping to continue to work with the brand because they're somewhat searchable meaning that people are actually looking for products from that brand so they're hoping that if they just continue to give the products nice reviews and they leave nice reviews on other websites i'll get to that in a second but they will hope that you know the company will continue like i said to send out products and they have a free avenue of you know making content because the company already knows that to be successful on a platform regardless if it's youtube or not you have to post content and you have to post it fairly regularly you know what i'm saying and i try to post you know twice a week i wasn't able to keep up with that schedule because i have a son at home a wife and i also live stream i like playing video games and stuff like that i didn't want to be bogged down with just only having five hours to six hours a day if that to be recording videos and as soon as i finish recording a video upload it all that stuff i have to immediately work on another video and that's why i only post like once a week when it comes to doing product reviews then that also frees up time for videos like this to put up whenever i want so again working smarter not harder but at the same time you have to be very aware of what companies are doing and what they're trying to do to you as a content creator because again they already know that you are going to need to put up videos you know what i'm saying so they already are banking on the fact of you're going to just put out a video and that's why some of them don't even care about watching the video before it goes live some of them won't even watch the video even if you send them a link after the video is done and they will ask you to leave an amazon review because there's a way to get products or whatever for free off of amazon and stuff like that with the company doing a refund on your purchase and then they will be like oh you're a verified purchaser leave a review on amazon and that's all they really care about because they know that your video is going to be well edited and everything like that and it's going to look good because maybe they don't have the cameras maybe they don't have the way to actually promote the product or wherever in that way so they're using you maybe they're putting the the your, your video or your pictures or wherever on their own company owned like branding whether it be on instagram youtube whatever like i said pictures videos and stuff like that they're putting on their own channels and everything and they're you know getting free advertisement that way because again maybe again you have a camera you know what you're doing as far as editing goes your audio sounds good you're very detailed and explaining stuff or wherever and that's just a way of a, the company to take advantage of you by posting that stuff and you unwittingly are agreeing to it because you know it's like it's almost like a verbal contract because you're typing it out and stuff like that most people don't have a, a document to where you can sign and everything like that and i'll leave a link to uh, a video where a guy has a link in his description to a contract that you can you know um manipulate and change wherever to what you wanted to say and then you sign it and a company signs it so you know 
it's like a, le a more more legally binding contract kind of thing. Um, so you kind of protect yourself as a content creator from companies trying to you know do stuff because there's been plenty of times where I've worked with a company and after the video is done and posted they try to add all this extra stuff on the back end asking for this that and the third and it's like that's not what we talked about that's not what we discussed you know what i'm saying or like i tell them hey the video is going to be released on monday at this time or wherever this date and everything and they will keep emailing me up until the video is released and i'm like I i've already told you when the video was scheduled i already told you when it was going to drop why you keep emailing me almost every day if not every other day asking me when where's the pretty much where's the video or are you going to post it can you post it any faster you know all this stuff and it's like when you're already talking to the company and they ask you hey take a look at this product and you sit here and say hey before you send me out the product or before we go any further this is the way my you know system operates this is how i operate my channel i always tell them you don't see the video before it goes live let me know if it's a paid opportunity or not or wherever if it's not a paid opportunity it's not a problem but just let me know so i can you know you know do what i need to do appropriately for the platform that i'm going to upload the video to because youtube you have to do some stuff or whatever for that as well as um let me know you know what type of video you want me to do do you want me to do a review or something like that do you want it just on instagram or something like that and letting them know that i don't upload stuff to TikTok or wherever or do youtube shorts or anything like that because you as the consumer cannot get an informed decision on a video a review of a product that's only 30 seconds to a minute long there's no way that you can tell if that product is for you or not you know what i'm saying it might pique your interest in the product but it's not a actual product review it's more of a showcase or like a, a commercial you know what i'm saying and it's like that does it like yeah you might actually watch the full review if somebody did like a youtube short and be like oh that's interesting enough i'll click the video to watch the full review but it's kind of pointless in my personal opinion especially what you the work that you have to do to get the short to be noticeable anyways and there's plenty of uh i would say content creators out there who know about analytics and and everything like that on social media platforms such as TikTok and youtube and a lot of people will go ahead and tell you that the price to performance as far as how much you have to put in the work wherever for a youtube short or a TikTok to pop off versus the monetary return or on investment as far as again the performance of your video and everything like that and getting monetized and getting you know money and ad revenue and all that stuff or wherever even if you are able to you know monetize your content it's not worth it you will do better doing just a plain old regular long youtube video and that's another reason why i don't really do shorts or tiktoks if i do it's TikToks is the dancing and, and gaming clips or wherever because and i do that every now and then the distance between like posting times and stuff like that because it's just not it's not worth it to spend my energy and my limited amount of time that i have to put that kind of content out there because it has to be a whole different type of video wherever as far as like i said the only thing you can really do is kind of like unboxing most products or wherever have to do thorough testing that's why a lot of my videos are anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes and sometimes 30 minutes depending on the type of product because you have to test it in multiple environments multiple different uh types of use case scenarios and stuff and try to cover as much information as you possibly can so again somebody can make an informed decision because again most of these products or wherever are going to be fifty dollars and up and for a lot of people out there even in the budget realm fifty dollars sixty dollars a hundred dollars is a lot of money so why not equip people with the best capability of making an informed decision on a product instead of trying to cram it down into 10 minutes or god forbid 30 seconds or a minute to tell somebody about a product and you don't give them any useful information and they still have to go out and watch 15 other plus videos you know what i'm saying and that doesn't make people want to stick around or whatever because they don't realize or they might not realize but some of them are going to realize they don't get any useful information out of your videos you know what i'm saying because they can watch joe schmo on another channel or somebody else or wherever on another channel and get the same exact information because all you're using is the product material and what i mean by that is a company will send you out a list of product specs and if you're just sitting there reading the list of product specs i'm telling you that's not a that's not what the consumer wants to know 
And if they want to know anything like that, they can always check the Amazon listing, the, the company's website, or even sometimes the companies have the digital manual to download or wherever you can leave a link to that in the description of your video. And somebody can go back and, you know, read through the manual and see if it has the specs that they need or want, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, they can go and do that research. They don't need to know that information. They need to know their, how does it again, affect the workflow? How does it affect them as a content creator? And how does it, it affect them as somebody using it in, you know, for the office work or, you know, just some, maybe some light content creation, or maybe they like to game, whatever the product uh, is advertised towards. They want to know how it affects the workflow. Is it going to be a plus? Is it going to solve more issues than headaches it's going to give? You know what I'm saying? Especially in the budget realm, people need to know this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And again, you don't have to get so deep and technical because there's people out there who have like devices to see the, the light metering or wherever, to see the actual brightness and compare it to what the company is quoting or the frequency ranges for microphones and stuff like that. Chances are, if you're just starting out, you don't have that equipment unless it's like reloaded, related to like your job or something like that. So keep it very simple, but at the same time, try to cover it as if you were trying to buy the product yourself what information do you want to know and if you had the opportunity to test it what information would you tell somebody else who's going to potentially buy it you know what i'm saying don't get wrapped up in oh yes you know i got a company to send me out a product and companies are willing to work with me i understand that um that uh that dopamine drip that you're getting there you know what i'm saying as far as uh being excited and everything trust me everybody's going to do that i got excited or wherever when companies wanted to start working with me i was more surprised than excited because you know i was brand new to the space as far as doing product reviews but i soon realized that companies want to work with content creators they want to send out the products because again that's free advertisement for them because some of them like i said don't have cameras don't have the way to do the the videos and stuff that they want so they are relying on content creators to you know spread it kind of like word of mouth but the problem is is that a lot of these companies are trying to do underhanded backhanded things as far as violating the amazon i would say customer and consumer rules or guidelines community guidelines or policies by having you purchase it on amazon and then what they will do is uh refund you on your purchase and then all that is fine with me because some companies are located like in another continent or another nation, whatever it may be. And it will take two months to, to like three months or something like that for the product to ship to you, depending on where they're located. And they might have it in Amazon's, uh, I would say, warehouse near you or something like that. And it's just easier because they can have the tracking and all that information or whatever and logistics and stuff behind it. If you just purchase it and then you give them your order number and they will refund your purchase. Some people don't like that view from it or wherever. To me, it's a it's a middle gray area. But the thing about that is that some companies will take it a little bit too far and start, like I said, violating the community guidelines. And that's something that you need to read upon on these websites and stuff that they're asking you to uh, purchase these products from because I'll try to put it on the screen or wherever and I'll link the community guidelines thing or wherever, you know, in the description so you can read it yourself. But essentially, if you do all this stuff and a company then asks you to, you know, leave a review and hopes that you leave a positive review or wherever on Amazon, then the problem is, is again, you violated the community guidelines because you're not supposed to put a review up or purchase something or wherever in hopes of getting a refund because you gave a positive review or, you know, say that, you know, you got the product from a company or something like that for free to do the review or anything like that, because that's not a genuine product review because now you've become somewhat biased because you got this product for free and a company is manipulating you into leaving a review on the actual Amazon listing or wherever in hopes like I said that you're going to give it a four star five star review or something like that and you're able to you know again articulate your speech use photos videos and stuff like that because again nine times out of ten they're not going to watch your YouTube video they're just going to expect you to leave the Amazon review and that's all they want you know what I'm saying they don't they don't care about um if you even do a YouTube video, like you could literally just get receive a product, do the Amazon review or wherever, and then be like, okay, thank you. And they'll just move on. Or they might work with you in the future again, but the nine times out of 10, they're just going to move on to the next, you know, person that they can do these underhanded tactics. Because again, they don't care if you do the YouTube video, 
review. They just care about you doing a product review on Amazon because you're doing product reviews on YouTube, meaning in their head, psychologically thinking that if you are able to do the YouTube videos and your YouTube videos are doing, you know, decently well, getting like a hundred to a thousand views or more, then they think if that kind of quality was put into the Amazon review, then people would buy it. You know what I'm saying? And they would think that you're going to automatically do the YouTube video review because you're going to get Amazon affiliate, you know, money. And they think that you're going to be, um, not well, I would say versed or wise enough to realize what the company is trying to do as far as the manipulation, I would say tactic of that. And again, like I said, that violates the community guidelines. And at worst, you can lose your Amazon account. You know what I'm saying? And there's obviously some other implications behind it as well. But that's one of the big ones is that you can lose, like I said, your Amazon account. And you don't want no legal action taken against you or anything like that and like i said those companies just you're gonna have to tell them straight up like if they are trying to work with you and they're trying to get you to purchase on amazon and give you you know the refund you're gonna have to tell that representative of that company like look i ain't leaving no amazon reviews i have had to tell that the companies multiple times because it violates and give them the screenshots of the actual community guidelines and give them the link to the community guidelines and be like this is what this is you need to follow this or wherever and I would be very, very careful of other people that maybe have, you know, worked with that company or something like that and did a review on that product. Um, that might not happen. I've seen other people in talks uh, with other content creators on this stuff or wherever when I've done these types of videos. Some of them told me that they never had never had that company do that to them. And it's happened to me or it never happened to me, but it happened to them with the same company. So it's I guess depending on whoever's in charge or that day or maybe their policy change or as far as working with content creators i don't know but to be safe stay away from companies that are going to try to get you to do amazon reviews or any website reviews or wherever the best thing that you can do is because since you're a, a new content creator starting out doing product reviews the best thing that you can do is if a company is asking you to do on amazon or wherever as far as the re refund or wherever and you purchase the product only do it again if they have specifically agreed to not have you do a Amazon review because I know it's hard as a content creator who's doing product reviews to purchase stuff with your own money and like I said do uh, cons be consistent with videos and everything but you don't want to violate any kind of guidelines at all you know what I'm saying working with these companies and stuff like that you don't want to do that so that your best option again is to sit there and have them either send the product to your doorstep um, I've had companies do that and that's the majority of the products that show up. I literally just had Onsbot do that. I reached out to them. I'm going to be doing a webcam review pretty soon, but they just send it to your doorstep. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it might be a bigger company that does that. Sometimes it might be a smaller company that does that or whatever. It's just depending on, again, some of them I've seen like the Amazon like little label wherever inside the box like they sent it to me from amazon because they had it in the warehouse but i never had to purchase it and so there was no refund or anything like that but i would say the best bet to do it is to let your viewers know hey i purchased it on amazon the company sent it to me or wherever i got my money back or wherever that's how i got this free product um other than that you know the company doesn't have any input or something like that please try to make sure the company doesn't tell you what to say or tries to see the video before it goes live. I had companies pressure me to do that or wherever. I've talked about it again in my exposing companies video, as well as in my um, ultimate low profile boom arm review I did. I'll leave it linked in the description where a company named Mayano kept on pressuring me and I worked with them three separate different times. And they kept asking me to see the video before it goes live, when the video was gonna go live. Um, and said they needed to make sure I had the technical specs for their low profile boom arm, technical specs apparently, um, to see the video before it goes live and everything like that to make sure I had it correctly, as well as like they tried to do that with their other products. And it's just like, they're trying to play me like I was dumb pretty much. And they're banking on that when you're starting to do stuff. So try to educate yourself as much as possible. And unfortunately on the platform, there's not a lot of people that will sit there and do this kind of uh, talking with you but like I said overall with product reviews that's the majority of things that you're going to want to know is that doing the product review do it in a way that a consumer is going to want to know the information 
Don't just copy and paste verbatim where everybody else is saying for the product and what the company is advertisement say or wherever or their product listing says and stuff like that. That's just a cheap way to put out a video. You're going to want to give people actual information that they're going to want to sit there and be like, OK, this person is giving me clear, decise information that I'm going to need to know as a potential consumer for this product. And they keep on doing it consistently. You know what I'm saying? They're not, not just pulling up the Amazon listing. And if you read the listing while you're watching the video, they're literally saying everything that's up. That, that's just easy. You know what I'm saying? Take some time, approach it from a unique way. And it might be a little slow trickle of people, but eventually you'll, you know, build a brand that you're going to be happy with. And like I said, if you can overcome, like I said, all the companies that are going to send you emails or whatever to review products and do Amazon reviews, if you can overcome that hurdle or whatever, there are going to be companies out there that are willing to be like, yeah, we'll send it to your doorstep. You know what I'm saying? Or they might just be like, hey, order it on Amazon. You know, we'll send you the review, uh, the refund or wherever, and then you can just do the review and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Be very careful when the companies start telling you to uh, post it on other platforms or to, you know, like I said, post the review on Amazon as well. Cause I've had companies be like, oh, post on TikTok, post on YouTube shorts and post a video. And I'm like, I've already told you multiple times, I only do long form YouTube videos. So again, it's better to make a written form or something like that. And like I said, I'll have the dude's video linked in the description that will take you over to his little thing or wherever. It's like six bucks for the little contract thing that he already typed up or wherever that's super generic. And then, like I said, you can go in and you can format it the way you want to wherever, but it's going to cover pretty much all, like I said, all the bases for you as a content creator, just getting into the space of doing like product reviews and stuff like that and working with companies. This is something that you're going to want to do because you can always reference it you know what i'm saying or you can always be like hey this is not what we agreed upon you know what i'm saying and there's been several times like i said with companies in the past i had to tell them you agreed up to it i said if in the video in the email wherever that if you can't agree to what i have said then there's no reason to continue going forward you know what i'm saying and if it is acceptable then just send the product to my doorstep and then that's usually when a company is like okay we'll send it out we'll give you a tracking number all this stuff or they'll be like hey uh unfortunately we can't you know just send it out can you just purchase it on amazon give us the order number you know we'll refund your money the reason why i would say though to be very very careful with that is that some companies out there will tell you that they will refund your money or wherever and i've had it to where companies um won't pay you back they will sit there and wait forever i had to recently threaten a company with legal action in order to receive my refund or wherever on an amazon purchase on a product that i was supposed to do some reviews on or wherever on amazon and for some reason it was like pulling teeth just to get the company to cooperate i had been already like the the stuff was already done like within the, the few days of receiving the product and it already almost a week before they send it back there's companies out there that would tell you you know maybe on tuesday and fridays there that's the only times they do the refund because of how their business works and maybe in that nation or the continent whatever it is country and stuff so again you want to look into all this you want to be well informed as far as what they do as far as how long it takes but typically i would say with reputable brands it takes about one to three business days for you to receive that you know refund or wherever and most of the time like i said with companies i've worked with with would it be comica fine fine stuff like that usually it's like within a day and a half you know what i'm saying depending on you know the email corresponding and you know me purchasing a product giving them i've i've had people i've had companies literally refund me before the product even shows up from amazon and i have amazon prime and stuff and before the product even shows in my house i'm already getting a notify notification you know that i got the money or wherever um and as far as the refund goes so again it's, it's just up to you if you believe that's still a paid review i can understand that but to me it's just like if the company send it out yourself themselves you know what i'm saying but i can understand the logistical reasoning on why they would want you to purchase it rather than just sending it from the headquarters or maybe sending it from the amazon warehouse i can understand why they want to do that so technically to me at least i don't see it as a paid for video because you know what i'm saying i'm not losing any money the company's not losing any money you know what i'm saying it's still a free product kind of thing but 
in the future going forward i unless i've worked with the company in the past and they're very trustworthy as far as their reputation with me as far as paying me back as soon as i purchase something like that i'm not accepting any more of these you know amazon you purchase and then we refund you stuff with these brand new companies that are going to hit me up that i've never worked with before i'm not doing it anymore um just because you know i've had you know, my wife and son went on vacation for two weeks. My car broke down and stuff like that. I needed money to get it fixed, go pick them up at the airport, you know, get groceries while they were gone, gas, you know, other accessories and stuff that I needed to live. And companies weren't paying me back during that time. And it's like, you know, it's just, it's not acceptable. And having to go as far as like having to threaten one company with legal action, having to threaten another company that I was just going to return the Amazon product or whatever back and not even do a review because I wasn't unboxing it or doing anything with it until they gave me the money back and having to just threaten them with that that way for them to even pay me on one of their off days for paying back refund stuff like that. And like I said, been doing this for almost three years. I can tell you right now, it's up to you if you want to take that leap of faith. But I know starting out, it's going to be very hard to find companies who are going to be those reputable brands that are just going to throw it to your doorstep. And most of those are going to be bigger brands, more reliable brands who have been in the business industry or wherever for a while or have been working with content creators for a while. And when you start looking at these obscure names at brands that you never heard before and all that stuff or wherever, those are the ones that sometimes you're going to have to watch out for. And that does not mean that all the bigger brands and that are reputable, maybe you, you recognize the brand name. That doesn't mean that they're, you know, unscathed, that you're going to come out unscathed either. Like I said, these, some of these brands or wherever, at least in the content creation realm outside of streaming and gaming, they're big brands that I've had to deal with that I know their name like they're a household name outside of like I said streaming and gaming if you start looking for content creation like stuff like lights and and other accessories and they have disappointed just as much as these you know smaller brands have so you know you know it's going to be an ebb and flow kind of thing your results are going to vary and everything but like I said if you can just get companies to send products to your doorstep and you know maybe you have a little bit more of an income so you can purchase most of the products or like i said depending on how many products you want to review a month or something like that maybe you can find it in your budget to do that but again if you want to take the the bullet or wherever of trying to figure out you know is me purchasing on amazon and getting that return on the money and stuff like that but just be careful like I said, just be careful, because in my experience, it's been getting progressively worse over, like I said, almost three years of doing it, where companies are just nonchalantly like trying to get you to do reviews and do all this stuff wherever pretty much for free. And they get all the return, like they take your content, put it on their own channels, like I said before, or they're trying to get you to do the Amazon reviews and then they try not to refund you your money and stuff like that. And like I said, um, especially if you're leaving a bad review on when you're doing a product review, um, because companies don't like that, obviously, you know what I'm saying? So they're they're banking on the fact that you're not wise enough because you just started out. So make sure that you self educate yourself and make sure that whatever kind of content you're going to be creating for these product reviews, unboxings, whatever, make sure that you're not, like I said, violating Amazon policies or any other policies out there, depending on whatever website you're working with. And like I said, be very, very careful with working with certain brands. See what other people, like when a company reaches out to me and asks me to review a product, I go and look out and see what other, you know, content creators have covered the product and see if it's even worth covering because some of these companies might reach out to you with a cool idea of a product or something like that but then making a video on it it's not going to be lucrative for you as far as like viewership and stuff like that because nobody knows this company nobody knows this product and you're not um your audience is not big enough to attract more viewership and stuff already you're gonna have to bank on the product's reputation the product the company's name and stuff like that are people gonna search up this company's name or are they gonna search up this type of product or wherever it like i've had brands reach out to me i'm like nobody knows of your product you type it into google or youtube or whatever and no videos show up nobody like it doesn't find anything at all those are the companies like it again it might be a cool product they might be a brand new company 
but then you're going to have to trick the algorithm into thinking like this video should be shared. Like you're going to have to try to change the title and the hashtags and the, and the, and the thumbnails and like all the little other things, because it's not searchable. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a brand or a product from a brand that nobody's ever heard of because maybe the, the company just started out, you know what I'm saying? So that's something else that you want to take in consideration for, you know, starting your journey with product reviews. With that being said, I think this video has been long enough. Um, I got to go and do some other things or wherever. So hopefully you guys got some kind of informed information or wherever from this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. Don't forget to click that product review playlist at the end of the video. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to see some more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, come join my live streams. Also link down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.